lost Cal's bag. This is his uh, sad face. I watched that movie. We're missing four bags, including the foam, the buoyancy foam for the ROV, uh, the benchtop power supply, and the actual ROV power supply. What are you doing on my head? I'm not doing What are you doing? The makeup of our team changes. <laughs> would you like to start over? I really, really would. Heather, it's really good. It's a great product. Go on out. You're gonna see how poorly I maintain my face. Before the center was built, it was a pasture for cattle. You'll notice a lot more. This is Haley's excited face. <laughs> What do you think, Calvin? Space. Think about the amount of software <laughs> that goes into it. And it's all perfect. Say so something profound, Jack. I think these things are never going to fly. Oh, there's a dragon, but it has a cover over it. <laughs> okay, bad morning and fuck you all for being here. We are Western Edge Rovers with our rover, Orange Pudding, representing Prince William College Corner Brook High. The company structure of Western Edge includes four sub teams, all made up of one person Rowdy, Andy, Randy. The company structure never changes as Andy, Rowdy, Andy, Randy's here for life. We use this to our advantage by being the fing best and facing whatever challenges arises from you. Competition starts today.
Look at the smiles on this team. They're enthusiastic. They're happy. They're confident. We use safety moments to begin involved your Phoenix, which fosters our open safety culture. Our vehicle is completely buoyant and weighs under 13 kilograms an hour, just 4 kilograms less than the weight specs uh, for my competition. This means you can save over $80,000 in launch costs alone simply by choosing your routine. On last year's vehicle, the most expensive component, single component in the electronics enclosure, was over $1,500. This year, the entire system is less than $1,200. We're especially excited about our capability of connecting to the internet. That means we can enable remote monitoring and even operation so we can pilot from over there, from a boat in the Gulf, or from a space shuttle. And we decided to use a completely passive payload system. Uh, object manipulating easy grab attachments, or omegas. Um, quickly snap on to ESP and oil samples. We have uh, two, three of these on the ROV. Uh, it's literally a snap. When planning a budget for an ROV designed to function on Earth as well as on Europa, every decision has gravity. Thank you for your consideration, and we look forward to proving we can excel on Earth as well as on Europa. Well, this is what happens when you have 1,800 points of IQ on the problem. <laughs>
And we picked up a coral. Oh my gosh. We picked up a coral sample. What? And brought it to the surface. What? Do you know you know you brought a coral sample up? Did we? Yeah. <laughs> so we have um, five for the green card, five for the safety. You gave it all ten for your organizational. Yep. You have twenty for your size, twenty for your weight. Yep. Um, you got all the points for task one. Awesome. Um, you were actually the temperature was thirty point five, and our center only reads to tenth of a degree, so. We, we win. On. We, get a, we get bonus points for correcting you guys. Yeah. Um, and then both of your measurements were within a few centimeters, so those are really good. Okay, good. Um, and then I have collecting two of the oil mats from the seafloor, um, mm -hmm. returning them to the, well, returning both, and then uh, analyzing both of the organs mm -hmm. yes, correctly. I have one photo of just a seat. Correct. Um, and then comparing it yep. accurately, and then returning one of the corals. So okay, yep. We have our team from Memorial University. We're looking right here. So yesterday you had one of the higher scores in oh. the in the uh, pool. How did it go today for your second run? Even better. Thank you yeah. know how many points you were able to, to get on this yet? Yeah, we uh, we got 215 on that run. 215 on that run. That's definitely some of the higher mission scores that I've seen. So awesome. You had problems yesterday. Did, yeah. Was it a long night trying to fix problems? <laughs> it was a lot longer than we wanted. Yeah, what yeah. happened last night? Uh, about one in the morning, testing the ROV in a bucket of water. Oh. Enlist you commanders and Let's do a group hug. Come on, group hug. Come on, group hug. NASA test pilots. We're NASA test pilots. You're gonna need Haley. Haley's gonna have a heart attack. I forget which one was up and down, but I'll figure that out. Is this where we ask NASA permission to launch the vehicle? Because that would be the coolest thing I've ever done. This is might have to close it. Pull it out. Let's just pull it out. go ahead and power it, drive it up. The more time we spend in, the longer it. Yeah. The longer we risk doing something stupid. Keen line rail. Eastern edge, line the rail. Line the rail. Presentation Engineering Evaluation MVPs. The first one, showing great leadership and knowledge and skills, Memorial University to Rachel Seymour. Klein, <laughs> made to Mariner Medal. So the next one, it's the Grover Award. Little G, big R, big O, big B, little E, little R. And this is an award that is an honor of Crockett Wise. Crockett was the founder of the Team Orlando Robotics Club, or TWRP, and he was a technical assistant at both the Maine International and the Florida Regional Competitions. This award goes to a team or an individual who demonstrates courtesy, kindness, and professionalism and assists other teams providing technical as well as a moral support, technical as well as moral support, and that's that's kind of the last one is, is the key in in, um, in this team and how the judges sort of evaluated and looked and, and made the selection. And because of their camaraderie, because of their support, because of their coming to the hot pool to cheer on their, their fellow teammates, the Grover Award goes to Memorial University Eastern Edge.
score in the Explorer class. Again, you might have seen it posted. A score of 215, and that would be from Royal University in Texas. Oh. No team out of all the 600 plus that competed in any mate event, regional or national, got a time bonus. Right? No one got a time bonus. So we really have had some good challenges. Is, Oh, excuse me, I should say in the Ranger and Explorer class, thank you Matt, I should define that, in the Ranger and Explorer class there were no time bonuses this year. Navigator did, Scout did, but not Ranger and Explorer, so we really had some challenging, thank you Matt. All right.